Hey, Tribu. I know we talked about Mullen, which is right over there, but today I want to talk to you about marshmallow, and they have a lot of similarities. Unlike the Mullen plant over here, marshmallow is a perennial, which makes it an awesome addition to your garden because once you plant it, you'll have it for many years unless you choose to harvest the root. The parts used of this plant are the flowers, the leaves, and the roots. So pretty much all of it is medicinal. So just like I did with the mullet, I'm gonna show you the flower. They're beautiful, delicate, purple flowers. They're so lovely. So the flowers were used for inflammation of the skin. So that's what their main use is. And just like mullet, the marshmallow plant, the leaves are used for soothing conditions. So anything with coughs, digestive issues much like the mullein like we talked about so it has an affinity for bronchial conditions and a lot of digestive issues like diverticulitis and um, many other digestive uh, complaints and just like it's beneficial for the uh, respiratory tract because of its coating nature it's also amazing for the urinary tract as well so if you have symptoms of urinary tract infections or you tend to have that uh, marshmallow is a great ally for that to add to any blend that you're using to get the benefits of coating the urinary tract as well. You can begin harvesting the roots in the second year and my lovely marshmallow plant is two years old. So this year in the winter is when you harvest, fall, winter is when you harvest the root. Uh, once the leaves and the flowers have done their thing, you can harvest the root. So the leaf and the flowers are harvested in the summer while they're blooming and they're healthy. And I will be harvesting some to dehydrate for medicine. And I will also be making um, a syrup as well. So an infusion and then adding a honey and then you preserve it with the tincture that you made from it. And I can show you guys how to do that later on whenever I go to harvest my marshmallow and I'll do the same for the mullein. I could actually combine them and have a more potent syrup for those type of conditions. And another fun fact about marshmallow, you know, the confectionery treat marshmallows that we eat with our s'mores, uh, it came from this plant that this plant um, inspired those marshmallows. Traditionally, they were made with an infusion of marshmallow. So that's a fun thing to try out and actually make medicinal marshmallows. So maybe you guys would enjoy watching something like that. If you would like me to do another herbal profile, let me know and I will do my best to condense it just like I've done these two videos. Much up to you guys. Bye-bye.